hello friends welcome to my channel cv concept uh, uh, friends today we will going to see about types of fruit what are the types of fruits available in the nature we will going to see the one by one so first of all there is a five types of fluid total that is the first there is a ideal fluid uh, second fluid that is a real fluid third fluid that is a newtonian fluid uh, fourth fluid that is a non newtonian fluid and fifth that is hydroplastic fluid so first of all uh, we will discuss about the uh, the ideal fluid what is ideal fluid right there's the name indicate that is ideal fluid what you want from the fluid that is available in the ideal fluid so the ideal fluid means the uh, the fluid is incompressible right the fluid which is incompressible not having viscosity and surface tension right we can say that the fluid which is incompressible and uh, it is not having the any type of viscosity and surface tension that is ideal fluid right but it is practically not possible uh, for uh, practically not uh, no fluid is an ideal fluid because it is an imaginary fluid because uh, whatever the fluid available in the nature uh, uh, has uh, some uh, possess some the viscosity and surface tension and it is uh, some of the fluids are also the compressible okay so there is a uh, ideal condition uh, right so it is a ideal fluid so there is a no example uh, of a such fluid available in the nature so uh, this is the ideal fluid then we come to the uh, real fluid so real fluid what the real fluid that is available in the nature that is a real fluid comp uh, has the compressibility right real fluid can be compressible right it can be compressed uh, you can take the example of a water it can be compressed a little bit but right and uh, the fluid means what uh, the fluid comprises of the gases and liquid means uh, the gas is compressible that is a, so the, this is the real fluid okay then uh, fluid has this, uh, having some viscosity and surface tension right so real fluid is what the, it is compressible and it is having some viscosity and surface tension in it so uh, all fluids in a uh, practice are real fluid so whatever types of fluids uh, we are using or available in the nature that all are the real fluid so we can say that all fluids available in nature that is a real fluid so example of the real fluid there is a first there is a no, most common there is a water petrol kerosene it is in lots and other the liquids having the viscosity and surface tension all are the comes under the uh, real fluid category okay so this is the real fluid which is compressible having viscosity and surface tension okay we come to the th third part that is a newtonian fluid so what is newtonian fluid the newtonian fluid uh, we can say that newtonian fluid in which the shear stress is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain okay the rate of a shear strain you can correct here rate of a shear strain okay or a velocity gradient so uh, the fluid right uh, the fluid in which the shear stress uh, is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain of rate of velocity gradient that is newtonian fluid for example uh, when you apply the force on any fluid right so when you apply the force on any fluid the rate of a shear stress this is the shear stress right and this is a shear strain so the as you increase the shear stress right the your shear strain also increases means both are the proportional right proportional to each other this this shows the linear line as you increase the shear stress your shear strain is also increased so this uh, relationship is uh, correct for the newtonian fluid so this uh, and, uh, and which uh, whichever fluid uh, poses this type of property that is a newtonian fluid or we can say that the property is velocity gradient means right uh, it is also proportional to the velocity gradient as your gradient increase your uh, your, uh, your uh, as your gradient increase your shear stress and shear strain also increases okay so this is uh, newtonian fluid okay so this is newtonian fluid so it is viscosity remains constant means what in a newtonian fluid uh, the velocity viscosity of the fluid is remains constant and it shows the linear relationship i just shown you it shows the linear relationship between shear stress and shear strain it is viscosity is constant okay so uh, and then and then it shows the linear relationship the examples of uh, newtonian fluid that is a uh, water mineral oil and alcohol right these are the some of the uh, fluids uh, that is uh, there is no change in the viscosity when they are flowing right mineral oil and alcohol right they, there is uh, when they are flowing they, uh, there is a no uh, change of viscosity 
of that right where water is flowing is even there is a no viscosity change and mineral oil and alcohol right this is a some example of a newtonian fluid now we come to the non newtonian fluid the uh, non newtonian fluid exactly opposite to the uh, newtonian fluid the fluid in which the shear stress is not directly proportional to rate of shear stress means what uh, uh, the when you uh, right when you increase the shear stress uh there is a not uh, pr proportional rate of a increase of shear strain right means some uh, when you increase shear strain maybe it is not possible that the amount of uh, shear strain you increase that is not uh, this much that shear shear strain will be increased means uh, the shear strain and shear stress are not proportional to each other and also there is a viscosity of fluid changes right uh, because the when you apply the shear stress the viscosity of fluid change Uh, there may be a uh, uh, higher or lower, there may be more or less uh, the shear shear strain uh, on the fluid. So its viscosity change, right? Because uh, of that, the Lyell relationship cannot be maintained in the Newton non-Newtonian fluid. The example of non-Newtonian fluid are the corn flour. When you add the water to the corn flour, its viscosity change. When the silty putty and motor uh, motor oil, that is right, motor oil that. Uh, motor oil is the example of a non-Newtonian fluid. Then we come to the fifth, that is ideal plastic fluid. The ideal plastic fluid, uh, in that the shear stress is more than the yield value, and uh, shear stress is proportional to the shear rate of a shear strain. Means what? Um, uh, in the ideal plastic fluid, what happen? Uh, we have to uh, apply the yield uh, stress, right? This is the, we have to apply this much of yield stress. Then it flows, right? The, then the ideal plastic fluid flows, and then it maintains the relation of a uh, shear strain to shear, shear strain to shear strain. Okay, so uh, then it maintains the relationship of shear strain to shear strain. So we, so in the that we need to be provide some yield stress for the flow of a liquid. So that uh, the example of ideal plastic fluid that the toothpaste is the base example of ideal plastic fluid. We need to be applied some force uh, for uh, flow for fluid pressure. Then it will flow. So this fluid is the example of ideal plastic fluid. We have to apply some uh, yield stress to uh, the flow of uh, fluid pressure. Uh, I will just explain uh, in form of a diagram. Right? This is the shear stress. This is the shear strain for the uh, fluid. So this is the ideal solid. Right? This is the ideal solid line, and this is the ideal. Fluid line, right? There is a no fluid, uh, like a ideal uh, fluid. Okay, so uh, real solid, and this line shows the real solid, right? Just uh, uh, beside of the uh, the ideal solid, right? Okay, so this is the Newtonian fluid in which shear strain is proportional to shear strain. As you see, shear strain increase, your shear strain also increase, right? Again, the no Newtonian fluid. The non-Newtonian fluid, the relationship between the shear strain, shear strain uh, is not constant, uh, so that it shows the curve line. So this is a non-Newtonian fluid. In ideal plastic fluid, we have to apply the sum of the yield stress to flow of a liquid. Then it's uh, the relationship is uh, proportional to the shear strain to shear strain, right? So this is the uh, explanation of the fluid and ideal fluid. So. Again, I just explain you in the short that the ideal fluid is not available in there. It is incompressible, having viscosity, sur I mean, have, not having viscosity and surface tension. Whereas the real fluid is having the compressibility and having viscosity and surface tension. All liquid uh, uh, fluid available in the nature are at the ideal fluid. In Newtonian fluid, the shear stress and shear strain both are proportional to each other, so that this is a Newtonian fluid. And Newtonian, non-Newtonian fluid exactly opposite to the no, Newtonian fluid. That is, the shear strain, shear strain is not proportional to each other, and viscosity changes in that viscosity is not changed. Example of a uh, Newtonian fluid is the water, mineral oil, and alcohol. An example of a uh, non-Newtonian fluid is the corn flour, silty putty, and mineral oil, motor oil. Okay, ideal plastic fluid. We can take the example of a toothpaste. We have to apply this some. Uh, Uh, yield stress before flow of a liquid, then it uh, becomes the proper uh, proportional to the shear strain and shear rate. Okay, so this uh, this is the uh, explanation of the type of fluid. These are the five types of fluids. Our thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel, Sevi Concept.